I speak to you. I speak to you from a stage once used by David Bowie as a touring stage at we are at Broken Goblet. And let's hear it for Broken Goblet. Thank you for hosting this event. This is fantastic. My name is Ernest Silbert, and I was in a band called Judgment. And we recorded and played music live in the late 80s and early 90s. And we have, <laughs> turn the bass up, uh, and we, we have had the great fortune of having a sort of deluxe reissue of our music, which is something I thought was a good idea for a very, very long time. I want to thank Chris Forbes here for putting it together. He acted as A&R with the label, Flashback Records. I want to thank Eric at Flashback Records, uh, Bombworks Sound for the awesome remastering and the artwork that came uh, from the label, all new artwork. So we have a CD, and there were some shirts. We still have two. I'm afraid they might be XLs or two XLs. Sorry, ladies. And uh, they're there for free if you want one. Uh, members of the band may still have a few copies of the CD if you'd like one. We're going to play the CD in just a moment. So this is called Final Judgment, Final Decree. It consists of the, the two demos, Judgment, 1990, and Infernal Reality, 1992, I believe. Right. And all the members but one are here. Uh, that's Matt Thompson. He's, uh, he's been the touring drummer for King Diamond for the last 23 years. Um, you, you will hear him on a few of the live tracks on this. So we have six studio tracks awesomely remastered, incredibly crisp, loud, heavy, aggressive as hell, as they used to say back in the day. And then uh, uh, some live stuff from G. Willikers, the classic club, as well as the Galaxy, another classic club, both in New Jersey. So, you know, I just want to say some, a few words before we play this. You know, history is littered with so many people who met well and tried and did the right thing and are just completely forgotten. And it's rare when something is seen as important enough to preserve and acclaim and venerate by bringing back and keeping in people's view. And I know from personal experience that metalheads in their 20s or 30s look back at that era as an incredible cauldron of new creativity, of thrash metal, death metal, all sorts of types of music which are happening very fast outside of the mainstream through tape trading, flyers. I have a whole bunch of uh, reproductions of the original flyers here on the table right there. Take them as a memento, if you like. And we worked really hard to do this and put this all together. And I'm really happy to see everybody here. It means a lot. And when you bring something out of history, you've entered the annals. You've been entered into the chronicles and considered worthwhile. So uh, I want to thank everybody. This is a great moment. You're all, some of you, even members of the band, haven't actually heard this yet. So you're all going to hear this for the first time publicly. This is Judgment. The final decree, please tip at the bar, buy a lot, and uh, frequent this uh, venue in the future if you can. And thanks to everyone here at Broken Goblet for hosting us. Thanks again to Chris Forbes, Crashback Records, everybody. What's that? July 14th. July 14th. Here? Yes. Okay. The, uh, the amazing Judgment drummer, Steve Kraft, will be here passing it on to a new generation as well, playing with his son on this very stage which was once graced by David Bowie. So thank you all. I think we can cue the music. And thank you. Thank you all.
Back in the day, the names like the Crumb Suckers, DRI, even South Jersey locals, Vicious Circle, and that whole crossover metal crossover scene back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Well, if you're a fan of that style of music, you need to buy this. Judgment, the final decree, just came out on Thrashback Records. It is an incredible piece of music, and if you're a fan of any of those bands I just mentioned, you need this in your collection. So go to www.thrashbackrecords.com and order Judgments, The Final Decree, and do it today. Ugh!